Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to put on your team cords as well as the file anchor on your cover. Now, the team cords are fairly simple, and today I have two different types of cords. So this is my uh, my unit's color guard cord, and it has a bobby pin as well as a foul anchor to go through it, and the seal seam cord, which we don't use anymore since we don't have a seal seam, but all it has is a foul anchor attached to a string. Now for yeah, I'll start with this this one, the seal seam cord. Fairly simple. You just want to take the sleeve, put it through the cord, sometimes called an agulet, but who really calls it that, even though it's his name, it's real name, and um, <clears throat> you want to take the, um, the prongs of the anchor and put them up about inch, inch and a half um, from the shoulder seam, I'll show you guys that, um, can you see where my thumb's at? this shoulder seam that goes right here. So you wanna place it on the front of it. So as you were wearing your uniform, it would be on this side of the shoulder seam. So not on the shoulder seam itself and not behind it, because then the cord would fall back. But you want it on the front side of the shoulder seam. And also, um, I like to keep mine about an inch and a half to two inches above where um, this part of your shoulder is like so like right here i like to keep it above right here so the cord doesn't fall down and you have to keep readjusting it so it just sits right here level with your shoulder so i like to place mine pretty high um so basically you just take your pins and you just put them right parallel to the shoulder seam and just um it's not a precise measurement or anything like that so it doesn't have to be perfect they're not going to measure it it just has to be relatively um in that area now i'm not going to put on my seal seam cord because like i said we don't have a seal seam anymore um instead i'm going to put on my color guard team since or excuse me my color guard cord since i'm on the color guard team and all the other teams like well except drone i can even though I'm technically on the after act. So, except the drone, and we don't have a rifle team, so I'm not that one either. Anyways, I digress. I digress? Digress? Yeah. Anyways. So, you're going to put the um, sleeve through the agulet or cord. And for this one, my color guard cord, it's the, the only cord we have um, as a unit that has a bobby pin as well, or a safety pin as well as a foul anchor to hold it in place. So, what you do first take your anchor and place it where you need it to be so like i said inch and a half two inches above the shoulder seam um this shoulder seam not this one you want it about inch and a half two inches this way and where this shoulder seam is you want it in front of it so right directly next to the shoulder seam running this way you want it parallel and touching but not through the shoulder seam itself and not behind it you want it just in forward, or just forward of it, excuse me. So you're going to place it right next to it, running parallel with the bottom of the anchor facing that way. And um, you know, put your butterfly clips in. One, and that's up. Where's it at? There, two. And then you're going to take your cord. <clears throat> run the sleeve through the cord and then take the bobby pin and run it about halfway through the foul anchor and um, yeah run it under the foul anchor on one side of the shoulder seam and then mm, let it emerge to the other side of the shoulder seam And then just, if you would, uh, little tricky. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there we go. If, nope, never mind. 
Can you? Can you? There we go. Okay. Now, I have to struggle for the next hour and a half to get that. Okay. Uh, yeah. So it should be looking like oh my gosh, this. That looks really bad. Okay. Should be looking like this. Um, yeah. I want to put it on and show you. I guess I would be doing a disservice if I didn't, so. Boom. You need to pretend I have shirts in your mouth. Yeah, I am definitely in full uniform right now. Um, so yeah, it should be looking, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Boom. Like this. You're welcome. Now I definitely have to re-iron this. Re-iron this. So you guys better be lucky. That I love you. Okay. Um. Now for the cover mission. Yeah. So I definitely didn't have to just look that up in the Cadet Field Manual, which you can find online copies and a PDF online. You're welcome again. I definitely just forgot. What was it? Give me a sec. Okay, so it's two inches back, one and a half inches up. So that means, yeah, I'll show you. Um, two inches this way from the four trees, which is this, and one and a half inches from the bottom, which obviously is this. So two inches this way, one and a half up, centered with, well, center. Yeah, so here. I'll show you is that. Handy dandy ruler. Let me, let me put my uniform up, actually. I'm going to be done with this after this, because I'm going to bed. As soon as this video is done. Because my girlfriend is going to be mad at me if I don't finish this. That's why I'm in mirror. Anyways. So, take this off. Oh, I totally forgot I don't have brass um, butterfly clips. I've got silver ones from Home Depot. Uh-huh. So two inches back. So you know, measure two inches, but that big. Um. Uh, yep. So two inches back from the four trees. So like I said in my last video, from this black line, not from here, but from this black line, that is where you start measuring from. So put that black line on the four trees. Or the very front of your cover. And by the way, uh, when wearing the cover, this should be, oh my god, that looks so weird. This should be on the left hand side of the cover. And this should be facing forward. So, yeah. Anyways, so forward. Make sure that is where the front is. You can tell by this little um, fold, that is on the right hand side on the front. So the little fold is right here. Is right, this little fold right there. So that's how you know which is front, which is back. So, anyways, make sure your um, anchor is the correct way. Um, bottom facing the bottom, top facing the top, uh, so on and so forth. Anyways, so measure two inches from the four crease. Um, what I like to do as soon as I get the two inches. Um, have the anchor lined up with that and put it like put it into the cover like press it in roughly where you think one and a half inches up would be like centered not just don't take the bottom of the anchor and put it one and a half inches up take the center where you think because that's the measurement so and then remeasure make sure it's still two inches and then come from the bottom of it and one and a half inches up, so I put it like half an inch too low. So pick it up one and one half inches, and then boom, press it in. And of course, measure just to make sure two inches. That's correct, and one and a half. One and I have. Perfect. I'm on a roll with these recently. 
So yeah, that is how to put on cords as well as file anchor. Um, now, I don't know if the cords are the same as your LA cords or anything like that, but I'm sure if you've gotten that far, you know how to put on an LA cord. But hopefully, when I go, or if I go, hopefully if and when I go to Leadership Academy this summer, I get my cord and I can come back and show you guys. I was going to wait, but I realized that I would put it on anyways. And since I'm going to show you the other stuff that I put on my uniform. I might as well show you all the stuff now, and then I can just show you that later. Um, thank you for watching. Have a great day.